labor migration is an important phenomenon since 1990s, uh, uh, which is going to fundamentally transform uh, Chinese uh, economy and society. Uh, among all the disparities uh, between rural migrants and the urban uh, residents, uh, wage gap is, uh, has received a wide, wide attention uh, from uh, scholars and uh, policy makers. Uh, there is no consensus on whether there is wage discrimination against uh, uh, rural migrants. Uh, uh, some scholars uh, have argued that uh, because uh, uh, rural migrants, uh, their individual attributes relate to the low uh, productivity, right, which will sort them into uh, different occupation jobs and different you know, the sectors, work sectors with low pay. Uh, so after you're counting all this, there's not much uh, wage gap as we just uh, showed that, right? First, uh, occupation segregation is uh, one of the important uh, contributor to uh, rural migrants disadvantage relative to uh, urban residents. Uh, second, such restrictive access to occupation uh, to a large extent is uh, attributable to uh, their lack of uh, education and uh, 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 skills related to productivity. Uh, finally, uh, the segregation patterns varies by uh, employment sector. Okay? We divide it into three sectors uh, and show that uh, in government and uh, uh, institutions, right, uh, migrants are mostly segregated, and in in private sector, indeed, they are they're, they're much much less segregated. So basically, the the the, the wage gap is largely uh, due to uh, the fact that uh, migrants and uh, local uh, residents are occupying different uh, occupations. So within uh, the, occup the same occupation, the same sectors, right? Migrants are uh, slightly enjoy slightly, slightly uh, uh, advantage. Of course, we need to take into account their longer working hours and uh, less benefits, right? So this should not be a, a laudable uh, findings, right? Because uh, the key finding of this analysis uh, is that uh, direct wage discrimination play a minimum role in uh, generating uh, earnings disparity between rural migrants and uh, uh, urban workers. So policy or, or, or should direct to remove the barriers for access, from equal access to occupations, especially uh, good ones first, and uh, also second, uh, to, uh, to enhance the training uh, and uh, to give uh, more skills, right, uh, and uh, to, uh, to uh, rural migrants for them to to, to have access to those better uh, occupations. Uh, in 2014, uh, uh, China's State Council has issued a new regulation uh, to, uh, to reform the Foucault policy, uh, basically stipulating that uh, all the education, uh, employment, and access to benefits should not be based on Foucault, but rather on so-called resident certificate. Uh, so. On the one hand, I would say uh, it's moving to the right direction, right? So access to opportunities and uh, entitlement benefits would not be based on, on, on whether you have a local hook or not. But on the other hand, so, so this, this residence certificate itself, right, it, it plays a similar role, you know, as, 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 a, as a hook did before, right? So even you don't have a, so majority of, uh, of, uh, of migrants, uh, labor migrants, would not be able to to get those uh, residence certificate. Uh, so whether this kind of uh, uh, policy change and reform of HUCO uh, has effect you know, or create uh, you know more uh, uh, equal opportunities for rural migrants, right, remain to be seen. Mm -hmm.